Day, old chap. Uh, I was wondering if I might uh, have a bit of a uh, badger. The rain in Spain falls mainly on the plain. No, I don't believe that's it. Bloody HQ, eh? Always mixing this up. Uh, uh, give me a sec, will ya? The lone heron is ripe for the plucking. Excellent, if a tad unenthusiastic. Six out of ten. What? Now you're after a government minister who's been trading secrets with the Soviets. If we don't take him out, their navy might catch up to ours within 20 years or so. Wow, sounds terrible. So I'm looking for a minister. Man, that's something I don't say every day. Our informant will call the phone box near the Parliament House Bridge in one minute. On your horse, old chap! Lord! My work! Police! Yes, yes, what is, what it? is it? Why don't you go loose. back where you can? Ripe for the plucking. Right, that's... Excellent. The intended target has left the Parliament House and is heading for the Soviet Embassy. Eliminate only upon arrival at the Embassy. I repeat, eliminate the target only once it has reached the Soviet Embassy. Remember. I've got you now, old shot. Politics? Who needs it? Now, fashion design, that's a scene worth watching. Out with it! All right, you have my attention. Thank you, everybody. Those Soviets are so groovy and intense, I'd tell them my secrets in a heartbeat. Soviets are our mortal enemies, but we give them a rotting embassy that's bigger than the Prime Minister's paycheck. I'll never understand politics. People are bound to notice if the Cabinet Minister just disappears, even if it is in the Soviet Embassy. Oh, who am I kidding? They all look the same. I wonder what the Soviets are wearing this spring. I do hope they have a ball at their embassy. I'd love to see their new fall line of babushka wraps and potato sack dresses. <laughs> Run! I claim diplomatic immunity! I claim diplomatic immunity! Dead. Soon you shall be dead. I see to the soon. Ah! Ah! 